Okay, Dr. Watkins, thank you so much for um, taking the time to to do the podcast today and so we can learn a little bit about um, you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. I'm a clinical associate professor and graduate director in the Department of Health Promotion, Education, and Behavior here in USC's Arnold School of Public Health. I came to USC in 1999 after completing my Ph.D. in Health Behavior and Health Education at the University of Michigan. Uh, Prior to my doctoral studies, I worked for 10 years as a counselor in college settings. Uh, My undergraduate degree was in psychology, and my master's degree was in college student personnel from the University of Tennessee. I'm originally from Tennessee and um, still pretty much a UT Balls fan when we're not playing South Carolina. There you go. (laughs) So what got you interested in public health in the first place? Uh, Well, as a doctoral student, my initial research interests were in gerontology and lifespan development. Uh, I was especially interested in older adult self-management of chronic illnesses. When I moved from the University of Georgia to the University of Michigan after my first year of doctoral study, uh, a change in psych- from psychology to public health seemed good to me. It was a better fit for me at that time. And, um, yeah, that's how I got into it. Awesome. So what are your, were your steps to become a graduate director? Well, I've got a background in student affairs, and I've always been interested in student development. So... Uh, I sought out this opportunity when the previous graduate director was wanting to make a change from that, and I was fortunate that the department allowed me to have this administrative role uh, with our master's and doctoral programs. Awesome. So what exactly does your role as graduate director entail? Uh, Well, my role is to serve as a liaison between uh, the department's students, faculty, and staff, and the graduate school. I assist students in the transition to graduate school uh, from admissions uh, through their progression through their program of study. And my goal is to ensure that students have a timely and successful progression through their degree program. That's awesome. I know you also um, teach some classes on the side. So what, um, with all your other duties that you do, so what other classes do you teach and do you have a favorite? Okay. Yeah, I teach several. (laughs) And I've taught some we no longer offer, as a matter of fact, I've been here that long. But I teach um, the introductory course to health promotion uh, that's part of the master's uh, public health core courses. I teach uh, HPV 701, Theoretical Foundations of Health Promotion. I assist with the doctoral seminar and with the MPH, Public Health Practicum, seminar. Uh, in the summer, I teach consumer health in contemporary society, and I'd have to say my favorite course is one I've taught for several years. It's uh, both for undergraduate and graduate credits, Managing Stress. Nice. And that focuses on looking at psychological, emotional, and spiritual aspects of stress. Very interesting. I'm sure you get a lot of uh, questions around finals week, especially. <laughs> um, so for incoming students, what would be your advice for applying? Well, uh In a nutshell, I'd say do your homework. Research what our department's about. Uh, Secondly, I'd say uh, do well in the GRE test. Uh, Other significant compelling evidence in application is necessary if the GRE scores are low and when we make an admissions decision. I'd say provide references from former instructors, managers, or mentors. Uh, Don't provide references from peers or coworkers and provide a well-written personal statement. Um, I give this advice all the time, not to write an emotional appeal that's uh, involving your personal life or something that brought you to the field. Instead, focus on specific academic and practice interest, your academic background, your work and volunteer experiences, and career goals. You, You want to show how you're a good fit for our program. Now, with doctoral applicants, uh, in addition to what I've just said, they also need to have the support of at least two faculty members who would be willing to mentor them in the program. So that requires that applicants make prior contact with those fac- faculty members uh, to secure that commitment. All great words of wisdom. Um, so besides all of the fun things you do here at the Arnold School, um, outside of work, what else do you enjoy doing? 
Uh, I'm a big reader. Okay. So I've, uh, I'm constantly listening to an audio book okay. at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but, you know, I, I'm also reading a, a, a the hard copy. The hard copy. Okay. Co- copy, too. I uh, enjoy walking and hiking, being outdoors, and collecting oral histories. Nice. Very awesome. Um, so you mentioned you have a favorite book, or you mentioned you you read a lot. Do you have a favorite book? Well, I guess if I had to pick out favorites, I might list two. One okay. would be Don Quixote. Okay. Uh, that's, that's my favorite. And the other is uh, The Sotweed Factor by John Barth. Very interesting. Um, are they going to be trees or just very... No. no? Both okay. are pretty intense. <laughs> very yeah. intense well, reads. All well, right. So what about, um, do you have a favorite movie? Uh, yeah, I have to list two. Okay. And, uh, I tend to like older, okay. more classic movies. So one would be The Hidden Fortress by uh, the Japanese director Akira Kurosawa. Okay. He also did Seven Samurai. That's okay. what most people know him for. But The Hidden Fortress. And then... Uh, the Devil and Daniel Webster. Nice. That, that starred John Houston. Really cool. Um, so, of all the jobs you've had throughout the course of your career, have you had any that are really interesting? Uh, yeah, I can think of a couple that stand out. Okay. So, uh, the year after my undergraduate degree, uh, while I was trying to make some career decisions okay. and what I was going to do, I worked on a large hog farm. Okay. <laughs> and working on that farm for about a year uh, really solidified my plans for going to graduate school. Got you. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to spend much longer than a year. At the <laughs> While I was in graduate school, I worked the midnight shift at a tire assembly plant. <laughs> And that was motivation for me to complete my degree in a timely manner. <laughs> there you go. I didn't want to stay in the assembly plant for a long time. There you go. From Hog Pharma, <laughs> worker to graduate director. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, spending time to talk to us a little about this.